right? Here's the problem. The problem was, like, you know, he's what, 21, 22 virgins who are refusing, like, this to be fixed up. So they'll claw off the fabrics and everything else. So he's gonna wind up eating Jacob's older brother. They didn't have any money. So he says, uh, that led for a drink of rum. There were spent well worth a few. They they never and Yeah, so training, like I said in my check-in vlog, got a new plan, three leg days a week, but only one of those is like a true leg day when it's out and out legs, the other two are compartmentalised, so with doing upper and lower in the same day, but yeah, three leg days a week, but as I say, you know, two are very palatable, one is very hard, they're all hard, but you know what I mean, I'm loving the new plan, felt very weak last week, but... I wasn't well previously, so that was just the residual effects of being unwell and not training for a couple of weeks. But I have to say, I've started the new plan and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I feel very strong this week, or at least strong in comparison to how I felt last week. So, feeling good, feeling solid. Extra calories have my food focus through the floor, which is amazing to, you know, for the first time this year, not be thinking about food on a second to second basis. So, yeah, like I'm super excited just to get really, really strong and really, really big. And I'm Really, really loving the new plan, so that's good. Also, because I'm part of my prep kitchen now, like that's a big way off. Food prep time, clean up, gone. So that's made things more efficient, which is good because I did notice that a couple of weeks before we went on holiday, I was really stress free. I was like, I'm getting so much content done. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely flying. I've really mastered this routine. It's because I wasn't training. Training takes up. 15, 20 hours of my week. So now that I am doing both of them again, I'm like, oh God, I'm feeling stressed. You know, having the meal prep there just to make things more convenient and a bit more streamlined, or well, a lot more streamlined, has been very, very beneficial. I said it in a previous video, so I'm not gonna go on about it too much because this isn't a promo video for prep, but I used a prep service in Dubai. It was amazing. I used a couple when I came home because I liked how convenient it made things and they were awful. They were absolutely awful. This is unreal. This is in the same level as the Dubai one, so you really can't advocate for it enough, can't recommend it enough. Um, I'll put my discount code in, but as I say, this isn't a promo video, like I'm just genuinely recommending it. So, social media, we were at, obviously I've, I've um, experienced a lot of growth on Instagram recently, which has been good. Very, very positive. I feel like, you know, vindicated and validated in the work I've been doing there. Because I think, not even just what you do, it's the planning time, and I'd say, I'd say I plan longer than I actually shoot, and also, I'd say I obsess over little details moment to moment and trying to think of new ideas and how I can make things better and just watching streams and streams of reels, try and come up with new ideas. I'd say I'd do that even more than the planning and the actual execution combined. So a lot of time goes into it and I'm very, very grateful for the growth I've experienced recently. However, as much as I'm getting a lot of virality off of the wellness stuff and that, my ultimate goal is to really have a top tier styling page.
huge and to work with a lot of high fashion brands. So I'm going to pour more into that side of things. Really double down on the styling aspect of the page. I, without sounding arrogant, <laughs> believe that I dress well and I am happy with my style right now but I want to do more, I want to go more fashion, you know, more risky, you know, really really push the boat out in terms of style so I actually just got a new haul from ASOS that is exactly the tone that I'm wanting to go down now and I was going to try it on for you but I will be debuting it all in Paris so it's like really for my kind of Paris look and I, I don't want to um, I don't want to show anyone right now I just want it to be fresh Paris content so I'm afraid you need to wait for two weeks or by the time this comes out probably like a week and a half but yeah it's um do you know what I was actually I was talking to Eva yesterday about how polarizing my style is now compared to when I met her it's actually so so funny so there's so many things that I wear now I would never have worn them I just wouldn't even rent, I wouldn't even have entertained it I also have to say that um, <laughs> as funny as it is like I've become so dependent on Eva's advice like I will never purchase something now without asking her what she thinks and a lot of the times she'll say you should get this and just because I have complete faith in her I'll just put yeah it's fine just get it but yeah so social media I'm very happy with how far well we've done this week my goal at the start of the year was to have 60,000 followers on Instagram by the end of the year because of the rate of growth that I have experienced I've moved that now to 100,000 followers and to have a world class management by then as well so that's the new goal 100k and a really really top tier management but as I say very happy with the progress still feel like I can be doing a lot more I feel it's the Dunning-Kruger effect isn't it the more you know the more you realise you don't know you know the better I do the more deficient I realise I actually am yeah I feel like I could be doing a lot more and I am going to be moving heavily into the fashion side of things really doubling down on styling and really pushing the boat out in terms of style and aesthetic <laughs> fit by the way I ah, I follow this guy eh, on Insta and he, he posts like lots of videos and like shorts and like kind of boxy t-shirts and stuff I really really like his style so I've kind of emulated him so I um, just hit 50k on Instagram I'm very very happy intellectually I'm very very happy emotionally I always feel like I could and should be doing more so and then I'm always concerned like are you going to stagnate even though it's not really in my personality to do that because I am so concerned about always doing the next thing and iterating and getting better but intellectually I'm very very happy emotionally I just want to do more but um, I was speaking to my sister about it yesterday and I'm really trying to just sit with this feeling and be happy in my sense of accomplishment the work that I'm putting in is uh, bearing fruit as I said before my goal for the end of the year was to hit 60k and obviously 150 now and we're only halfway through the year so I've now moved that goal post to hit 100 and have a talk to your management but I'm very very grateful I know that a lot of you that watch this obviously follow me on Instagram so thank you so so much I literally could not do this without you and I really really mean it from the bottom of my heart I'm extremely grateful I'm just really really happy right now like I always kind of had the belief I think because of the part of the world where I'm from as well and being from like a working class background that basically inherent in success is suffering and nobody enjoys their work and you just need to like suffer your way through it and that's the only way you can get to success and even then day to day you won't be very happy but you know you'll have the financial rewards and so I just can't believe that I get to do this for a job like something that I am interested in that I have a passion for that I love doing and it gives me day to day joy and day to day purpose like I really can't put any words how lucky I feel in how grateful I am honestly like, it's beyond my ability to articulate I must thank my wife to be saviour of my life for putting me onto this path and pushing me to do it and also as I said again you guys like you are the ones that's making it happen so thank you thank you so so much and like I say like, I put a lot of effort into this but it feels like effort not work because I love doing it so you know, I've got a fire in my belly for it every day and you know listening to founders listening to how to take over the world it's the people that do things that seem like play to them and feel like work to other people that really get ahead and feel like I've found that now for me as I'd said just early I really want to go to the next level now you know I'm really really happy with my content and how it's going but I just always want to do the next thing and not something totally different just you know just to continue to iterate on what I'm already doing but at the same time yeah what is the next level how can I push it how can it be how can it be more counter positioned how can it be more contrarian how can it be more abstract like what can I do to differentiate like I'm always obsessing over that again I would say obsessing to the point where it's unhealthy which again is just inherent in my nature and I know that's really just a story I tell myself but I do have a natural inclination to really obsessing over things that I care about and it's a superpower but it's also a curse I refuse to be any other way because again see the people that I watch on Founders or I listen to on Founders the people that I learn about they all do that 
So as far as I'm concerned, I'm in good company. And that works for me, it might not work for everyone. You do what works for you, what makes you happy. I like being obsessed, I like being all in. I like ruthlessly eliminating anything that's not moving me forward in life. It's who I am, so you know, I love being like this. As I said, I have been feeling mildly stressed with my routine right now. It's just, as I said before, I went on holiday, you know, I wasn't training for a couple of weeks and that really, really helped <laughs> with the yeah, content. I really thought I cracked the code and I'm like, I'm not even stressed by this anymore. I've just became more efficient at it and I'm really not efficient at it. Things take me far too long. Yeah, I thought I'd cracked the code and, and now I'm feeling a bit under pressure again, which made me think that I probably should start time blocking again because like, filming two reels sometimes can take me like four hours and there's literally no good reason for that. There's no justification for that. For some reason it does. I'm just a shilly shallier, I think. Don't know why execution takes me so long. I also always film much more content than I need to, which I think that isn't a bad thing because it means I have much more to draw upon when I'm actually editing. So again, you know, there, there's nuance to it, but I think I might have the time block just so that I can get more done and you know not and, and then so that I can maybe take a few days off at the weekend and not be constantly filming and obsessing like see Sunday there like I didn't see Eva like I filmed a reel edited a vlog and then planned my content for the next week I literally didn't pick my head up and I don't think first of all I don't think you should or shouldn't do anything I just think that especially when it comes to creative work having some downtime is beneficial and actually boost your creativity. So I think if I time block, I could probably get more done and have more time off. The only thing is, I don't like time blocking. Like, it feels stressful. I feel like I've got a manager standing over my shoulder cracking a whip. I don't like it, but you know, it's neither here nor there, so I think I'm probably gonna have to implement time blocking again. And you know, finally what I'd say about the content is, I really just want to make it more cinematic. I want it, like, as I said before, a better production value. Think Wes Anderson film. Think, you know, cinematic tones, maybe a cinematic filter, that sound of the film, camera running, like, really beautiful, smoothly shot scenes, so that, well, it still has a human narrative, you would almost think that a filmmaker made it. That is my goal, that is my dream, and that is the next step that I'm aspiring towards. So I'm gonna get working on that. The only thing I would say is, again, is see, because I pump out content every single day, and I do, I do spend a lot of time planning it. I sometimes think, um, again, I'm maybe going to have to time block in time for new ideas for trying to come up with the next thing because very much on a creative treadmill that I maybe don't leave enough time to actually ponder new ideas. So that's something I'm going to have to allocate time to because I do want to make really, really beautiful content that really resonates and stays with people. So that's the next step. And somebody extremely grateful for where I am, proud of where I am, and yeah, let's just do loads and loads and loads more. I never used to think that I'd enjoy pineapple, but since it's been on my plan, I actually love it. Just going to train legs, it's a big leg day to day, and I've already trained legs twice this week, so they're quite sore. <laughs> and then I'm going for lunch with my mum at Chaku, really, really nice, like kind of Indian tapas, really, really nice. So yeah, yeah, legs, and then I have to say that I'm not really vibing off going to the gym today. I'm sore, I'm tired. I've been lifting a lot heavier this week and my body's still getting used to it. That being said, maybe it's like a placebo effect, but I actually do think I look slightly bigger already, so who knows. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in like a proper good warm up, really ease myself into it and then go hard. So yeah, let's do it.